Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything. I'm coming back at you with another flight school video of Blood Red Skies. In this video, what we'll be talking about are the action cards, the, the cards included in the game, the uh, aircraft trait cards, the doctrine cards, the theater cards, and the and not the ace cards, because we're going to be talking about that in the next video. All right, so in the expanded rules, we're going to be talking about the action deck. Now, the action deck is a collection of cards that you play to represent signature aircraft traits, unique national combat doctrines, and the challenges and opportunities provided by playing in various theaters of war. The effective use of the cards will be the difference between glorious victory and shattering defeat. So the action deck, right? Uh, a fighting squadron was much more than just a combination of personal abilities of its pilots and the performance of its airplane. Many factors would influence the squadron's mission, like the mechanical and design characteristics of its airplane, the training received in the environment of the combat theater. When playing with the advanced rules, each player builds an action deck comprised of a series of cards included in his in the box game. Okay, building the action deck. Okay, all cards forming the action deck are described as action cards. The players draw and play action cards as the game progresses. Trait cards represent how the aircraft broke the rules, like uh, a tight turn for the Spitfire or a great dive or a great climb for the 109. When it says players must build an action deck, what you're really talking about is a side. Because you could have five players on a side, I could have five players on a side, but each side has one action deck. And that deck is built with however many planes are on your side. Okay, because they're assuming that it's just one player against one player when they write the rules. But what they're talking about is each side. Now. Um, you get a you get a trait card for every plane involved. So if there are two Spitfires in on your side, you put two tight turn cards in your deck, right? Because that's their trait, one for every Spitfire. If a plane has more than one trait, then you have to split that evenly. So if this player had two 109s he'd have to put one great dive and one great climb. If there's an odd number, then the player gets to choose which one. But you have to split it as evenly as possible. So if you have six 109s, then you'll put three great dives and three great climbs in your deck. So the next thing is theater and doctrine cards. You, you have theater cards and you have doctrine cards. These are normally chosen at random. You'd shuffle this deck or whatever and your team would add one doctrine card for every six planes on your side. So one through six would get one doctrine, seven to twelve would get two doctrines, and so on. Uh, so you would just randomly choose a doctrine card. If the players agree, they can look at them and they can choose which ones they would like to put in their deck. Okay, if you're playing the campaign, like in this set, it is the Battle of Britain, the British should choose defensive tactics or wall of lead. Um, and so what I'm going to do is choose one of those two defensive tactics. I didn't see wall of lead in here. Wall of lead. So we'll give them both of those. And then even though you're only supposed to give them one. I'm giving them both because we're playing the Battle of Britain. So the theater cards uh, also is supposed to be chosen at random. You're supposed to shuffle and decide how you're going to do this. But normally you get two theater cards, no matter what. You always get two. Um, the British should get home advantage and radar support if they are playing the Battle of Britain. So let's just say they are. So home advantage, radar support. There we go. So we've built their deck. Some theater cards can only be played during the setup 
of the game and they're played immediately so both players know exactly what's happening. This one says play in reaction to receiving a boom chit and this one says play this card during deployment and then you just follow what the cards have to say. Like this one says make a maneuver test for each friendly plane any that scores success automatically begin the game with advantage and then remove and then you just remove it. Some doctrine cards say as a bonus when you play that you get to also play the uh, aircraft trait card like this one says bonus tight turn and this one says bonus deep pockets and you get to play those in addition and they both have to be played on the same aircraft. Both cards take effect, and the player only discards the trait card afterwards. Yep. Okay, and the bonus card that you get, like the tight turn, does not count against your one card limit played because it's a bonus card. And then at the end, you at the bottom here, you'll see where it says discard. This card is actually discarded. During a game, each player has a hand of action cards that is replenished each turn from their action deck. The maximum hand side is three, and in large battles, that's with more than 12 aircraft per side, then the hand side is increased to four. At the beginning of the turn, just after deployment, each player will draw their hand cards to begin the game. Okay, if you notice, I've only got like five cards total in my deck, and you can tell what they are just by looking at the back of them. It says aircraft trait, theater, and doctrine, so it's not like it's secret, you know? And then, like this theater card, Radar Support, it's played during deployment. So that's just played automatically. So if you've got a hand, and, right, and you've got like three cards in it, right, during your activation, when you activate a plane, you elect to play one of those cards. And you can gain the benefit of only one single action card per turn. But then there's modifiers to that. Choose an action card to play. Then the air, when the airplane activates, some cards are played at other times, like the home advantage, when you receive damage, a boom chit, you can discard this card to get rid of one of the boom chits. Basically it just gives you one extra boom chit. Once an airplane's activation is complete, do not forget to place a zoom chit next to the airplane. Both players check to see if any of the action cards they played can be retained and draw replacements for those cards used and discarded during their hand size back up to three. And that's at the end of each airplane's activation. At the end of each game turn, players can discard any remaining action cards they have in their hand and draw replacements. When the action deck runs out, reshuffle all the discarded action cards to rebuild the new action deck. So, like, I have these three, let's say, and then during my this plane's turn, I play one on them, and then on this plane's turn, I play another one on them, hypothetically. Uh, actually, when I played this on him, I get a bonus of a tight turn, so I could play both of those on him. And then at the end of my turn, I can, now they'll be discarded, right? They'll all go into the discard pile. I'll reshuffle these and then draw three more back into my hand. And then I'll have all of them. So here's an example. Bob has the Doctrine card, Dive Away, and two Great Dive trait cards in his hand. Okay, so that's his hand. So he's got two great dives and a dive away. When one of Bob's disadvantaged aircraft activates, he can play the Doctrine card to allow it to make a dive move by playing a great dive bonus card with the aeroplane. He'll be able to add his full speed to the dive instead of six. When one of Bob's disadvantaged aircraft Okay, we'll say, we'll say he's disadvantaged. Well, actually, he's probably a 109. So let's say he's got disadvantage. It says, play on disadvantaged friendly plane during its activation. Bonus, great dive. So he adds a great dive to it. And this one, it says, on a plane with this trait, burning advantage to dive. Wait, on a plane with this trait, burning advantage to dive. He can't be burning advantage. 
do. The plane may burn advantage to make a dive away even though it is disadvantaged. There you go. So that's a combo, right? So now he gets to dive away. Add the plane's maximum move instead of six when burning advantage to dive. So instead of diving seven and then adding six, he's diving seven and adding seven. Furthermore, the trait card is discarded and the doctrine card is retained. So this says discard goes into the discard pile, right? And then this is retained in his hand so that Bob could potentially use it again, possibly in combination with the other great dive that he has. It's assuming you have very few cards. because Very few cards, you have more cards, you have more planes than cards, possibly. So hypothetically, let's say I've got one plane on my side, right? Well, with one plane, I'm getting my tight turn, right? I'm getting my, here it is, tight turn. Woo. I'm getting my one doctrine card, no, two doctrine cards, defensive tactics and wall of lead because we're doing the Battle of Britain. And I get my two theater cards, which I get home advantage and radar support. And that's it. That's all you get for your turn. Yeah, at the beginning of the turn, just after deployment, each side will draw their hand of cards to begin the game with. Some cards are reaction, like home advantage. And let's find home advantage. That's saying that it's got a little home advantage uh, reaction card. So like when I take damage, I play that and discard it. Even though I've got all these in my deck, I can kind of see what they are. I don't know, these all should have the same back in my opinion. I think they should all have the same backing in my expert opinion. That way you don't know what you're drawing. But right now you pretty much know what you're drawing. You know what you got in your hand. Your opponent knows what you've got in your hand by seeing the back of your deck. And then and you play them when you can during your turn. And when your turn's over and you got all of them discarded, you just shuffle them back in and draw three more. So those, those you go through every turn. All right, guys. Thanks for coming out and checking out how the cards are used. In the next video, we're going to be talking about aces and multi-engine planes.